What's good, it's Josh, your boy Bizman Cam here, and I am back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of taking guys through my express wash, just showing you guys the steps that I take, um, kind of how I prepare, uh, how long it takes me, and how much I usually get paid. Uh, so I have, I'll explain the pricing throughout the video, because um, you guys may be a little confused, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Definitely stay tuned. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Smash that like button before we even begin this video. Uh, let's run up the likes and uh, comment any videos, you guys, video ideas you guys have, and also um, links to any products or anything like that in the description below. Go ahead and uh, look for that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it. All right, Cam. What are we doing for the first job, man? Uh, right now, we're just gonna uh, do my basic express wash. Uh, this is actually a maintenance client that I've had for like two months now or like three months. So usually I service her once a month and uh, that's just my express wash package. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a nice wash on the outside, get the wheels and tires cleaned up, uh, put a sealant on top of it to keep it uh, nice and clean. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the inside with a nice vacuum. And then uh, we're gonna wipe down all the interior plastics and stuff to get them all cleaned up. So all right. it's a pretty simple job. But... How long would this top job take? Um, usually with setup, it takes me about an hour and like 10 minutes. Um, Sometimes I do it in like 45 minutes. Sometimes it just depends on like how quick I can get the equipment out and how I'm feeling that day, but usually around like an hour. All right. And you also mentioned that she's been with you so long that she's kind of grandfathered into the old prices. Yeah, yeah. So so she's been with me, I, I, I would say actually probably closer to like four months now. And so four months ago when my prices were like a little bit lower I think I had her in at like $25 um, for maintenance prices now that has changed so like I pretty much do uh, like it'll be $60 starting for my express wash now and I do like $10 off of that for maintenance so it'll be like $50 per maintenance now but since she's been with me for a long time and she's a cool like older lady I was like you know what I never even mentioned raising the pricing on her, and so I just keep doing it. All right. Yeah. I'm assuming she's a pretty chill customer. Oh, she's super easy. She's a, <laughs> you'll, you might even see her. She's an older lady, um, and one of her kids recommended her to me, and she's, she literally just gives me the keys, and I go start. She doesn't question. She comes sometimes, she'll come out here, oh, can you make sure you get this sap right here? And I'm like, hey, no problem. I got you, ma'am. So, yeah, and she's cool as heck. All right, cool, cool, cool. Man, Cam, you, you got wires for weeks over dude, here. Dude, you're telling me, bro. <laughs> I've literally had this set up for like, ever since I started and I've been wanting to get a mount so bad. Like, there's a mount that I could put on here that might fit, um, but I don't know if I have enough clearing and it would make, dude, this is what I have to deal with every day. I try to keep it organized, I try, guys, but this is the mess I have to take out every single day. And it probably messes up timing a little bit, but honestly, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's ghetto fabulous, that's what I like to call it. <laughs> Going on right there? Uh, it's just an all-purpose cleaner. Um, some people like use acidic cleaners to like clean wheels and tires. Because I'm kind of leaving it to drench for a few minutes, um, I like to put it on beforehand, uh, before I put my um, foam on. And so that way it kind of take down the, uh, the dirt and stuff while I'm working on washing the car. Um, and it's safe on the wheels and stuff, so. Cam, so explain this method of what you're doing because you're switching out tiles like every panel or what? 
Um, yeah, so I pretty much split it into panels. Um, I try to have six towels because like a lot of detailers you'll see will have like two buckets or like we'll do the two bucket method. And for me, because I have like a small setup, um, I broke the last buckets I had, they were really small, but they were able to kind of fit. I haven't been able to find them since, but since I don't have that, um, and I can't use a two bucket method to rinse, you know, the dirt off while I'm doing it. I just get enough towels for each panel. So I usually get six, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way around the car. And it kind of just keeps it. So I always have a brand new towel wiping each panel and because I don't have the buckets, So it kind of just like a replacement method. Oh, you going through the struggies right now, Cam. Yo, you need an upgrade. Bro, that's what I'm saying, dude. I've been doing this. It's crazy because I've been doing this for so, like for a long time, actually. But like, honestly, I've probably been spending money on the wrong things. That's probably what it has been. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to chill off the girls, Cam. Dude, but I can't, bro. <laughs> it's what I do. This guy over here. But yeah. no, we're joking, we're joking. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, but just to show people that you might not have the best setup, but you're making it happen with what you got. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I mean, and with all my expenses and stuff, I can't just upgrade things like, you know, you know, just whenever I want pretty much um, because I have so much other things to pay for. I try to blissfully split my money. So when I do get stuff, I try to make it, you know, stuff that's important. And I'm slowly, now that I've been taking detailing more seriously the past like six months or whatever, um, I'm actually working on things that will make me more efficient rather than just kind of going through the motions and, you know, I'm taking it more serious now. So I'll get that equipment going soon. leaves to pay for me. That's the best part. Right, right away, right away. <laughs> Give me some money right there? Yeah. <laughs> She's been doing that like the past two times. Hey, Kim, I have a question for you. Yo. So you were charging $25, bro. That's not even worth the gas. I know. But what made you raise your prices? One, knowing my worth, and probably even bigger than that, is knowing that it wasn't worth it. Because, I mean, I literally live in California. Everything's a million dollars. And you can barely afford to live on your own. So um, pretty much just raising my prices, knowing that, one, I could get more and that I deserve more. Um, and so knowing that my, the quality of my details weren't worth $25, uh, you know, I finally decided that it was probably time to raise them. And so, get what I need. so you raise them to sixty dollars. Yeah. So uh, twenty-five uh, used to, or I think thirty, used to be the starting express wash uh, for sedans. Now it starts at sixty. So it goes sixty, seventy, eighty um, for like the size of the vehicle. So like sedan starts at sixty, and it makes it a little bit more worth it. And when you were telling your old clients who were paying twenty-five dollars, yeah. twenty-five dollars, that's a steal. And you told them, hey, I'm gonna raise the prices. What was the usual response? Did you lose customers? Okay, I'm gonna be 100%. This is like not even, like no cap, nothing. I did not lose a single customer. I, I probably, I don't, it's maybe because I don't have many maintenance clients. I think I have like, I'm on like nine or 10 maintenance clients now. But I, and I probably, there is, I think two, two, only two of them out of those 10 that I told that, that I'm not gonna raise them. And this was one of them. Um, just because she was a super nice lady, I had her for so long already. Um, but everyone else, I told them it was gonna be like a $10, $15 boost. And they were all, I like, I warned them ahead of time. I said, hey, just so you know, next car wash will be this. And um, I only had one person that seemed kind of iffy about it. And it was a lady, a young uh, lady that has a husband um, and they're like super young. I don't, I don't know what their financial situation is, but she was like, oh, okay, I'll think about it. And then I came back to do another one of her vehicles the next day at her job. And she was like, 
hey, uh, at the end of it, she said, hey, you know, me and my husband talked about it and we decided we're gonna go with it. Um, you know, we really like your work and we wanna keep our cars, you know, nice and not from the car washes. So they were like on the edge, but they ended up saying yes the next day, so. Well, how long have you had these new prices? A couple months? Um, no, not like a couple weeks. Not even, all of them aren't even adjusted yet. Only my express wash prices are the ones I've adjusted because I'm, it was like what I wanted to make a very minimum, you know, and everyone seems to want an express wash. So I figured at least let me make my minimum a little bit more, you know, cause it's like the $60 and then, you know, some people tip or, or not. And when, when they do tip, it makes it, you know, even more worth it. If I'm getting 70 bucks and it takes me less than an hour, you know, with supplies and included and stuff, I think that makes it at least send me more worth it to me. What's the next thing you're gonna raise? Have you thought about it? Yeah, no, all my other prices are getting raised, dude. Everything's getting raised. Um, I have like four other packages and I'm gonna kind of rearrange some packages and kind of make some new ones too, but everything else is getting raised. Um, I kind of had it to where I had a range before. It would be this price to this price, but recently, like the past couple months, just realizing that that doesn't even make sense um, and seeing kind of how other detailers make their top dollar, um, it seems like a starting price for everything is the best. So from now on, it'll be my full detail for sedans. I think it's gonna start at like 220 uh, minimum. And then, you know, it'll go to like 250 and then like starting like 300 for trucks and above. Um, Where is it at now? Um, I wanna say 170 is the starting mm. price for sedans. Not bad. Yeah, so um, like the sedan, I have a, sed uh, I think we're doing a Honda Civic today. And uh, I told her the starting price will be 170, so yeah. <music>